this year in Come Follow Me, we're studying the Old Testament, which covers, oh, at least 4,000 years of world history. How do we begin to get a handle on the events in that long period of time and in what order they occurred, how one led to another? How do we find those events in that massive book of 39 separate books? Margot Butler, one of the people who developed seminary and institute materials, created this timeline some 30 years ago, and I have used it in my classes every single year ever since. I think you're going to like how simple this timeline is and how easy it is to learn and how you can use it to help you in your study this year. The Old Testament in Genesis begins with the creation of the world, and then comes the flood. Next, the Tower of Babel, the story of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, who gets sold into slavery in Egypt. In this timeline, the box will represent slavery. As the 12 tribes are in slavery, God raises up a prophet, that's Moses, who will take them out of Egypt to Mount Sinai, where God gives them his Ten Commandments and teaches them how to build the tabernacle. Then, because of sin, they will wander in the wilderness for 40 years until they come to the River Jordan. There Joshua takes over and leads the children of Israel across the Jordan into the Promised Land. They attack the city of Jericho, and the walls fall down. Joshua is succeeded by a series of judges, the last of whom is Samuel, and Samuel anoints the only three kings of the United Kingdom, Saul and David, followed by Solomon. At the death of Solomon, the United Kingdom splits into two separate nations. To the north, we have the nation of Israel. It is led by Jeroboam, one of Solomon's generals, and ten of the twelve tribes will follow Jeroboam and found the nation of Israel, the ten tribes of Israel. In the north, there will be 19 kings. Of those 19, zero are righteous. And because of the wickedness of the people, God will send the Assyrians in the, as prophesied by Isaiah in the year 721, the Assyrians will attack and take the ten tribes into captivity, and they are lost, the lost ten tribes of Israel. Meanwhile, down in the south, in the nation of Judah, led by King Rehoboam, Solomon's son, two tribes are part of that nation, Judah and Benjamin, because Judah is the strongest and, and most important of those tribes in the south, the people are now called Jews. They, too, will have a series of kings, 20 kings, in fact, eight of whom will be righteous, and so they will survive a little bit longer. But even they, during the time of Jeremiah, will be taken into captivity when the Babylonians attack. And so now we have the Jews being taken into captivity in Babylon. 
after suffering there for years, the Babylonians, who were their overlords, will be displaced by the Persians, led by two important leaders, Cyrus and Darius. These Persian leaders will give the Jews permission and funding to return back to Jerusalem. Notice how easy this is. Assyria, Babylon, Cyrus, Darius, A, B, C, D. Very helpful. When they return to Jerusalem, they will be led by three important men. The first is Zerubbabel. You'll remember that name from the genealogy of Jesus. He was the Davidic king, and he rebuilds the temple in Jerusalem. The second important leader was Ezra, a priest who helps the people return to the study of the law and rebuilds the people as a righteous nation. And then the third important leader is Nehemiah. He was a cupbearer to the king back in Persia and now returns to Jerusalem to rebuild the wall, the defensive wall around the city. There will be some books written by minor prophets after them, but that ends the historical portion of the Old Testament. This line, these double lines mean end of the piece in music. And so it's the end of the historical section of the Old Testament. And there will be 400 years of silence in the biblical text until the New Testament begins. Now, those who compiled the Old Testament did it in a pretty much chronological order for the first 17 books. And so this timeline follows the order of the first 17 books in the Old Testament. For example, all of these events occur in the book of Genesis. The book of Exodus begins at the birth of Moses and his leading of the children of Israel out on the Exodus to Mount Sinai where they receive the law and build the tabernacle. And since they need an instruction book, a handbook of instructions, as it were, that's what the book of Leviticus is for the priests, how to run the temple. Then the book of Numbers will cover the 40 years. It's nice that it's a number covering those 40 years until Moses and the children of Israel arrive at the borders of the River Jordan, where Moses hands over the leadership to Joshua. So um, this is the book of Deuteronomy, Moses' last three important speeches, preparing the people to follow their new leader and remember God and his commandments. Joshua then takes them across the River Jordan, they attack Jericho, and the book of Joshua ends with, Choose you this day whom you will serve, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And then we have a series of judges, probably edited and compiled by the last of those judges, who is Samuel. Samuel's books also include 1st and 2nd Samuel, which tell the stories of Saul and David. And then at the 1st um, Kings begins at the coronation of Solomon and continues through the lives of the kings of both Israel and Judah. The record then includes the story of Esther, who took that she lived in Persia, but we get the 
the stories of Zerubbabel and Ezra and Nehemiah in the books of Ezra and Nehemiah. And that ends the historical portion of the Old Testament. I hope you can see how helpful this is, not only for remembering the order of the stories, how one event, Joseph into Egypt, leads to another event, the 12 tribes in captivity in Egypt, leads to the raising up of Moses to lead them out of Egypt, but it also helps you find where the stories are as they follow the order of the books of the Old Testament. I hope you'll have fun using this. If you draw it over and over again, it can become yours. There is a handout um, drawn by Margot Butler, which explains, gives not only the timeline, but it explains each of the symbols and has the divisions into the books. You'll be able to download this handout in the description portion under this video. I hope you'll enjoy your study of the Old Testament this year and make it yours and feel comfortable in understanding the stories better. Thank you very much.